The word Salaf means our predecessors. And the Salaf in every nation are the president or the predecessors. In, 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 in case of the Muslim Ummah, our predecessors are the companions and the tabi'een. Those generations whom the Prophet ﷺ advised us to uh, adhere to and follow them. And he said that they are the best generations. So following their footsteps is actually following the guidance of the Prophet ﷺ. Any person who is uh, in love with the Sahaba and at tabi'een and he follows them, he may be described as a man of as salaf. He is salafi. Uh, and if one does not even know that word and does not say I'm Salafi but he is acting upon what we say he loves the companions, the tabi'een, the predecessors and the scholars and he follows the, their guidance so he is like that whether he says it or not every person who reveres and respects the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, likes the predecessors is Salafi it is not a condition to say I'm Salafi or to be described as Salafi in order to enter heaven the sect which will be saved as the Prophet وسلم, are those who are strictly following the guidance of the Quran and the Sunnah. With regards to the Wahhabis, it's ascribed to um, Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, who is a Saudi Imam. May Allah have mercy on him. He came in an era which was very famous of uh, grave worshipping and uh, uh, talisman and amulets where uh, um, the peninsula was full of things like that which eventually the Prophet ﷺ had prohibited. In many countries when you visit, such as in Egypt, in Syria, in Morocco, in Pakistan, you see graves which are appointed as places of worship, to the extent they are even uh, uh, built in, in the masajid, or the masajid are built in on top of those graves. And this practice is very practice the Prophet ﷺ forbade right before his death, he emphasized that this is an evil practice and those who used to do that before Islam of the people of the scripture the Prophet ﷺ called them those are the worst creatures before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever a righteous man of them die would they, they would bury him then they would build a masjid or a musalla or a place of worship on his grave so this man came to bring to the Ummah, or in his locality, uh, the original teachings of the Prophet ﷺ. And they eliminated those evil practices. And they leveled all the graves in the peninsula. Which basically, this is what the Prophet ﷺ said to Ali. Ali narrated that the Prophet ﷺ commanded him not to leave a grave that is erected above the ground, but to level it. Because it is just a grave. It is not a marker for a place of worship. So he tried to bring people back to the original essence of Islam. Whether you know the Imam or you don't. Whether you studied his books or you don't. If you follow the guidance of the Prophet ﷺ, which may be in his teachings, then you are on the straight path. You don't have to be called Wahhabi or Salafi or Sunni or whatever. I remember as we were young, and in, in, in the Arabic countries, those secular orientalists and religiousists, whenever they attacked those who are religiously committed, they used to call us Sunnis. So people would think Sunni is an insult or is an accusation that's equal to a terrorist or a fanatic. Or, and Sunni is ascribing somebody to the Sunnah of the Prophet So I'm very proud to be Sunni. I'm very proud to follow the footsteps of our predecessors the companions and at tabi'een of the Prophet ﷺ. And any Imam rises up today and leads people in, uh, in the right direction and on the straight path, we follow him. But every person on earth other than Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, his opinion may be right, may be wrong, according to what Imam Malik said. So we take from every person the right view and neglect what's wrong. Even if I'm following a specific madhab or a particular school of thought, but I knew that my imam was not really uh, having the, the best view in this regard, then I'm not following my imam because he is an infallible uh, person 
Well, I'm following him because he's transmitting to me what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Remember, these are all names. Whether you have them or you don't, what really matters is following strictly the son of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through which we can understand the Quran and be religiously committed and amongst people who will be saved on the Day of Judgment. As far as what the non-Muslims and the enemies of Islam like to label certain people, these are Wahhabis, these are Salafis, these are whatever, they will not run out of names in order to try to hinder people from the path of Allah or put the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out. But guess what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, يُرِيدُونَ لِيُطْفِئُوا نُورَ اللَّهِ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَاللَّهُ مُتِمُّ نُورِهِ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْكَافِرُونَ All the efforts are in vain. Allah will fulfill and spread His light despite the fact that the disbelievers hate it.